In this clip, we'll show you another feature of CineRender that will help you take a great step forward in creating realistic renderings. Let's have a quick overview at the render settings that resulted in this image. We have two light sources, the sun and a physical sky. Global illumination is turned on. Shadow casting is also on. These are the three main factors in getting a render image like this. However, it's quite obvious there's something wrong with the shading. We do have shadows, but they're pale and too even. Here's where the ambient occlusion effect comes to our rescue. This effect determines the degree to which each visible surface point is exposed to light and darkens it accordingly. Corner areas, holes, ridges, etc., or objects lying close to one another, will receive less light and will be darker by default. The Evaluate Transparency option is important to remember. When it's active, the degree of transparency of each surface material will be taken into consideration. Have this option turned on at all times, otherwise the result of the render may be disappointing, especially close to transparent objects like a window. On the left image, ambient occlusion is turned off. On the right image, ambient occlusion is turned on, but the Evaluate Transparency option is left off. When the glass surface receives the amount of light as in this case, the effect of ambient occlusion is obviously too strong compared to the shadow on the floor behind the glass. On the middle image, however, the balance of the shadows is perfect because the Evaluate Transparency option is turned on. Let's render our scene with ambient occlusion turned on and compare it to the initial render.